Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jackson and welcome back to another video thing. Hello. So this video does look a little bit more orangey and there is a new thing in the background there. So my apologies, but um, I'm filming this in the daytime, which isn't something that I usually do. So the white balance has to be changed. Also, if you're new to this channel and you want to possibly see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know. So this video is a type of video that I haven't done in a while. It is a review video and I am reviewing a binder that was sent out to me by Trans Guy Supply. So you've most likely heard of GC2B and Underworks, which are more of the popular binder producers. However, have you heard of the Trans Guy Supply binder? Because if not, you should. So Trans Guy Supply are a company that sell packers, apparel, and you guessed it, binders. That's what this video is about. <laughs> Trans Guy Supply were generous enough to send me out one of their binders to review. And today is when I review that bad boy. And my God, do I have some good things to say about, not some, a lot of good things to say about this binder. So for someone who has been binding for about three years, I have been through a few binders. I've tried out a few different types and this is possibly one of my favorite ones I've ever tried. So I got this binder on Christmas Eve and I've been wearing it basically nearly every day since, like I do wash it, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, I've been wearing it for about four months now. And honestly, I have no complaints. So I'm just gonna talk about the good things about this binder. <laughs> so. So firstly, this binder has a lot of breathing space and it's a lot more loose at the end compared to other binders, which means like it's not constricting your ribs as much and it's not kind of pressing down your stomach because I don't know for anybody else who uh, binds or whatever, but like a lot of people that I know that bind, no, like they can agree that when you're eating, it's like really hard for the, the food to go into your stomach when you're binding because like it just constricts that much. But I haven't had that issue with this binder. Like I can eat <laughs> and bind at the same time without any struggles, which is, Magnificent. <laughs> this binder also has like wide shoulder straps and a low neckline. And at first when I was wearing it, cause I'm so used to like the GC2B binders, I was like, um, this is a little bit odd. <laughs> but then I realized like the tops that I wouldn't usually wear that I actually loved, but they were too kind of wide at the neck. I was able to wear these cause the binder wasn't showing. And then like, if I go on a night out and I want to, you know, undo a button or two just to give the impression of a flat chest, I can do that with this binder because it has so much more of a lower neckline. And even though I don't like V-necks, you can also wear V-necks with this binder which is fantabulous fantastic and fabulous <laughs> and lastly the material in this binder is also great like so so good because i have a story to prove this okay i have a story listen so i travel a lot on public transport to either go visit my girlfriend or go into the city center because i don't drive too young to drive in ireland like i technically i can drive but it's too expensive here so yeah i take public transport a lot and the public transport that i take isn't exactly very clean all the time so basically i got on the bus my binder was at the very bottom of my bag because i had my gc2 be on because i tried to switch between them and basically my binder was at the very bottom of my bag and di i didn't realize that somebody had spilled coffee all over the floor there was no smell off it there was nothing i didn't see it so i put my bag straight down on the floor while i was sitting down and uh, basically when I got off the bus, I was like, why is my arm wet when I put on my bag? And I got coffee all down my arm. I had coffee on my back and it was coffee just soaked into my bag. So then I was like, shit, like my like pearly white binder is at the bottom of my bag where coffee's after soaking true. This is not good. So basically I get to my girlfriend's shop where I was going anyway and I open my bag and I check all my stuff and I was like, shit, my binder had basically turned brown. It had absorbed so much coffee that it had basically turned brown. Like that's how much of the coffee it had absorbed. So then I get home, I tell my mom the whole thing. I'm like, my God, this is like one of my favorite binders and I can't wear it. Cause like, it's just gonna stink of coffee and it's just gonna be stained. And I just don't, I just don't want that. I just do not want that. So she was like being the Irish mother. She's like, leave it to me, I'll fix it. And she did. And I thought this would have taken some, you know, like one of those ads where you have to like rub shit in it and you have to leave it for a couple days and then wash it out or like, you know, do all these mad things. And she literally said that all she had to do was put it in hot soapy water leave it for a couple of minutes and all of the coffee just soaked out. Like literally it just evaporated out of the binder. And honestly, I was shocked. I was so impressed. I was like, okay, Trans Guy Supply did it well. They did it well, people. So yeah, I have no complaints at all about this binder. I think that's my review done. There's nothing else I can really talk about on it. So yeah, it's basically, it's loose fit, but it still binds really well. You can eat in it. You can wear, you know, like wider necklines and V-neck t-shirts if that's what you're into, or, you know, you can button down a couple if you want to. I don't know, but yeah, I love this binder. I'd really recommend it. If you wanna go and get one, the link is in the description. You should totally go and have a look. Big thank you to Trans Guy Supply for sending me out this binder. I'm absolutely in love. And although it may be, I think it's about 40 euro or $45, it's definitely worth it. I would definitely, you know, consider it as one of your next binders or even your first binder. Uh, but yeah, 
that's it for this video. If you enjoyed or if you have anything you want me to review in the future, make sure to comment them down below and I will get in contact with as many companies as I possibly can to get reviews done for you guys. And if you want to see more of my videos, like I said at the beginning, make sure to subscribe. And that's, that's, that's about it. As usual, I hope you had, have, or are having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, quote Nell and be kind to one another and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. He just had to leave that back, didn't he?